Hi, I'm Jake from Save a Student, and in this short video I'll be taking you through some of the things you need to consider when choosing a student bank account. I remember when I started university, it was one of the biggest decisions I had to make, and it's not made any easier by the fact that banks try to lure you in with the offer of freebies and the possibility of getting your hands on a huge interest-free overdraft. First, let's take a look at what some of the students from the University of Manchester thought was important when choosing their student bank account. So I'm here with Callum. Hi, Callum. I just wanted to ask you, what was the most important thing to you when choosing your student bank account? Um, for me, it was the overdraft, like more than anything else. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Tom, what was the thing that made you choose your student bank account? Um, I chose a student bank account based on the fact that they gave you a very large overdraft and lots of benefits. Um, I already ha I'm with Barclays and I already had a Barclays account and I never had any problems with them, so I just kept the same one. Okay. Same, so, like, my parents gave, got me a NetWest account when I was younger, then when I came, they just changed it to a student account. So as you can see, there are a number of factors to consider when choosing a student bank account. I'm here to take you through the top five. These are the same criteria we use to rank and compare student bank accounts every year on the Save a Student website. Go for the largest overdraft. The interest-free overdraft is arguably the most important benefit of having a student bank account. It allows you to borrow an agreed amount of money without paying interest so long as you repay the balance within a set time frame once graduating. So long as you're responsible with it, getting the biggest overdraft you can should be your highest priority when choosing a bank account. By taking a closer look at the various student accounts on offer, you'll see that there are a number of key differences when it comes to arranged overdrafts. The first thing you need to do is find out if the interest-free overdraft on offer is up to or guaranteed. Some bank accounts guarantee you £2,000 at 0%, whereas some say that you can get up to £2,000. This is a key difference. Also, student overdrafts tend to be tiered over the duration of your degree. Most banks will increase the amount you're allowed over the first three terms of the first year, and then more in the second and third years, but there is no set pattern among them all, so always check the small print. The maximum overdraft is normally only available in the third year or after graduation, and the bank will slowly increase your allowance over the years, so make sure you check that too. The rate that the bank increases your overdraft at can also depend on your spending patterns and credit rating. Beware of freebies. The second important thing to consider is the freebies on offer. Students love freebies and banks tend to offer a lot to try and lure you in, such as travel cards or laptop insurance. Yes, they can sound tempting, but you shouldn't let freebies or similar offers sway your decision. Access to banking. This not only means location, but also the quality of the online service. If I'm honest, location was not a huge factor for me, but having to make a bus journey across town every now and then to cash in a cheque might be a bit of a pain. A lot of the leading banks now have mobile apps and online banking. These can be a huge help when out and about, so make sure you check if these services come with your student bank account. Paying it back. A large overdraft is all well and good, but you'll have to pay it back at some point. Some students will find themselves with just one year after graduation to pay back £3,000. Take a look at the Graduate Bank Account Guide on the Save a Student website to find out how you will have to pay back your student overdraft. It's the right choice for you. Finally, it's all about you. It's your money, your bank account and your choice. Everyone is different in what they require. What is important to you may not be important to someone else. Having said that, you'd be wise to take on the advice shared in this video and on the website. So there you have it. We've taken a quick look at the things you need to consider when choosing a student bank account. Hopefully this video, along with a guide on the website, will help you to make the right decision.